Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and for today's video I will be showing you how I created this soft glam look for beginners. So looking back at this footage I definitely could have punched up the colors a little bit more but I still think it came out really nice. Um, so if you guys want to see how I created this look then definitely keep watching. So first I am going to start just by priming my eyelids and guys, please excuse my face at the beginning of this video. I was definitely looking a little busted, but I was tired and it was early, so whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am using my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, and this is in the color Warm Honey just to set the base for my eyeshadow. And I did do my brows off camera as well. Now I am actually starting with my first eyeshadow. So that is the Scandal color in the new 35V palette from Morphe. And I am just going to apply that all over the, the base of my eyelids and just kind of build up the color a little bit. Using that same palette, um, I'm actually going in with the color Spice, and this is more of like a, a soft, like warm, medium shade of brown, so I am going to build that right on top of Scandal. Now I'm actually just going to switch over to the 35K palette, um, and for that one I used um, a medium brown shade. And I'm just building that up more so in the crease area um, just to give a little bit of depth to this look as well. Okay, so I am now applying some concealer just to my lower eyelid, um, and this is where I will place the gold eyeshadow. And the gold that I use is actually from the exact same Morphe 35K palette as well. Now I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner. And this was probably the first time I've used eyeliner in a really long time, so my hand was shaking when I was doing this, you guys. Um, so I really wanted to keep it very thin, very minimal, just in case if I did mess up. Um, and I actually did mess up at one point um, on my right eye, so I did leave that in the video for you guys to see as well, just how I fix um, any eyeliner mistakes so that I don't have to start completely over. So how I fix my um, eyeliner mistakes is that I'll go in with like a small brush and a little bit of concealer. So I'm just taking that Warm Honey concealer and putting it just right over the eyeliner area. And then I literally just apply that um, gold eyeshadow right on top. And then if necessary, I go back in with the eyeliner just to fix it. But sometimes I find that I do um, end up with eyeliner that's a little bit thicker on one side than the other side. So I like to do this just to fix it so that I don't have to do it all over again. I also noticed that um, for the end of my wing tip that one side was a little bit like more curled than the other. So I literally just took a little bit of oil and put that over the area and um, then removed it and redid it with the eyeliner. Thank you. 
so I'm now going to go back in with that brown from the 35K palette and just build up the crease a little bit more. Um, so usually when I do my eyeshadows, I'll do a lot of back and forth um, of just building up and blending the color. So just blending that out with the spice color that I did add as well. Um, and so now I'm going to go in with the sort of like light beige shade from that 35K palette just to highlight under the brows a little bit. Next, I'm just going to apply my um, eyelashes off camera, and these are just um, some wispies that I got from the beauty supply store. And now I am going to go ahead and prime my face. So I'm using the Benefit Pore Perfecting Primer. Okay, I'm just rubbing that in like so. Next, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. And I do like to um, conceal before applying my foundation because I feel like that gives me just a smoother finish overall. So I'm just applying that all over my face and blending that out. For foundation, I am using the Fenty Beauty in the color um, 390. Taking my Fawn Concealer again, I am just going to use that as my highlight. So um, under the eyes, a little on the nose, as well as the cheek area. I also added a little bit of the espresso uh, for my contour on the nose. For the rest of my contour, I'm actually using the Black Radiance palette. Um, and this is, I believe, in the shade medium. So going back to that Morphe 35B palette, I'm actually going to use the Devoted color. Um, and this is actually a really nice teal. And I am applying that just in my waterline, like so. To set everything, I'm just using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. For highlighting, I'm actually using the Wet n Wild Highlighting Palette and Precious Petals. And to finish off my tear duct, I'm actually going in with Swipe Right from that 35B palette. And 
And then I also did go back in um, to my tear duct with Shameless because Swipe Right is actually really, really bright. Um, I didn't know that it was as white of a color as it was, so I did go back in with um, Shameless as well, which is more of like a champagne color. Okay, love, so this is the completed look. I did go ahead and change my clothes and add some really nice gold accessories as well to complement this eye look. Um, again, I probably could have done a little bit more, but I, I like it. I love the way it turned out. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.